international professional wrestling superstar Colt Boom Boom Cabana, and you're watching Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Congratulations. Check out Vendetta Pro Wrestling social media networks at VendettaProWrestling.com. Five elimination. Definitely, Joseph. This is a shaping up to be an amazing match. We've got ten excellent wrestlers here ready to go tonight. Elimination. The match will continue until all five members of one team have been eliminated. Eliminations can, as I as I stated to the crowd, can happen by pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Santa Maria, are you ready? Yeah. Roland Bo asking Santa Maria if they're ready. Ricky Ruff in there, taking his jacket off, getting up in the corner. Of course, Clay Towser, one of the most popular superstars in Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Judah Matthew praying there before the match. Yeah, I always find Judah Matthew to be an interesting guy. Such a such a righteous young fellow, and yet you look at the crowd he hangs out with. And, uh, you wouldn't think. Definitely, Joseph. An interesting juxtaposition. It makes you wonder if Judah is uh, as holy as he makes himself out to be. Perhaps he's trying to save these young men. Who knows? That is true. Nevertheless, J.D. Horror is the captain of the team. He's the one, uh, if you have never seen Vendetta Pro Wrestling before, he's the one with the half skull painted on his face. Crowd out there, of course. Crowd loving Clay Towser. You can see the big sign up there. You guys have seen, come to see Ricky Ruffin. Definitely. Clay is definitely a fan favorite this evening. A lot of fans turning out to, to see Clay wrestling. And speaking of Clay, match is going to start with Clay Towser for the Brew Crew, Brolin Brew Crew, and the Apostle Judah Matthew for the Terror Squad. Referee Jay Stone. And this house is just shaking tonight, Joseph, as you can see Clay there jumping up and down. And even the camera's moving. 
for a second. Just thrown into the corner. You, you're not, you are not going to match power with Clay Towser. It's just not going to happen. This man might now. Definitely. It looks like Judah's uh, taking a different strategy by bringing in one of his, uh, his partners here to take on Clay. Tank Alvarado. Two big bulls and Tank just getting tossed aside. I mean, that's that's not a by, by no means is that a small man. Definitely. Neither of these uh, opponents are, are small men, as you say, Joseph. And in comes in Sledge. Perhaps Tank Alvarado, perhaps telling. Sledge, you're not going to match power. If he can't match power with him, I mean, Sledge is not a small guy either, but big close line. And I think Sledge has had just about enough. I mean, this entire team, there's nobody on this team, it seems like. Let's see what's Sam Knight being tagged in now. I mean, they're going to be in trouble. If, uh, if nobody on the team can match up with Clay Towser, what do they do? I definitely, and, and again, Sam's a big, a big man, and even he's rolling out of the ring right there, and uh, I think his, uh, his partners are telling Sam, uh, I told you so. Yeah. You didn't I, realize what, what he was coming up against there with Clay. And, oh, 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 what's this? What's this? Oh, oh, Bad boy, Brad Tyler, oh, oh. being thrown over the top rope, taking out the entire team. Wow, wow, the entire team goes down there. Amazing, uh, amazing tops. You know, the only person not down for that team is uh, JD is JD Horror and Tells her in there with Sam Knight now. Tells her just going to work with them uh, short forearms. Off the rope, and oh, he's got him by the neck. Looked like possibly a choke slam, and you know, first first bit of offense for the entire team, really. <laughs> Tries oh, to go for a body oh. slam. That's not going to happen. No, definitely not. And two hands up, big spine buster slam. One, two, three. Sam Knight. Sam Knight is out. JD Hoare already getting ready to bring in a chair. Oh, wait, whoa. Wait, 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 what's this? And uh, what? Wait, this is a very uh, interesting situation here we have, Joseph. Yeah, referee, referee Jay Stone. Ref, the referee thinks Clay Towser popped him with the chair. Definitely, JD Power. Definitely JD Horror, mind you. Definitely sort of. We have a disqualification. to make the announcement there to the crowd. He's Clay Towser's been eliminated as a result of a disqualification and uh, actually probably a very good move there by J.D. Hora. Underhanded, but big body slam there by Bo Cooper. and uh, Definitely, you're right, Joseph. Definitely getting rid of Clay is definitely part of that team strategy and, and a smart move overall. Now the, the Apostle uh, trying to trying to hit those clotheslines on Rollin' Bo, Rollin' Bo, Rollin' Bo, excuse me, with a close line of his own. <laughs> Bo Cooper and Sledge in the ring right now. Kind of the same thing. Sledge, you know, not a small guy. Looks like he borrowed some of his uh, some of his attire there from Chronic, old WCW tag team. And once again, Joseph, the room is shaking. You can see literally on the camera this room is just bouncing up and down from everybody just being so uh, pumped up right now. And it looks like Sledge Sledge doesn't want anything to do with Bo Cooper. Perhaps who's he pointing to? I think he wants. He wants a smaller guy, right? Hmm. Bo Cooper saying he wants a smaller guy. Cooper go. tagging in Ten Chismo. Ten Chismo is in. Young, uh, um, big spinning head scissor takedown. Ten Chismo is extremely acrobatic, and, and we can see it. Here. And into a bulldog, ready to cover, hook the leg, one, two, no. 
Ten Chismo, one of the uh, one of the hot young talents here in Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Definitely, definitely. And what he lacks in pure brute force, he makes, more than makes up for it in, in technical skill and agility. Absolutely. Goes for uh, goes into the ropes, gets reversal, knee to the gut, and what's a pump handle, power slam. That might just be it. One, two, three. Lack, lack of days of cover, but. Not, not not the best cover in the world, but I, I guess it, it did the job. And Chismo is out. Ricky Ruffin in there now with Sledge. It is three on four. Definitely, Joseph. And you can see Ricky showing us some of his signature moves here in the ring. Ricky Ruffin, one of the popular young stars in Vendetta Pro Wrestling. And part of the reason why, almost, almost a stunner right there. Definitely. And spinning splash right there. One, two, no. Actually landed right on his face on that splash. A short forearm and another one. And a counter right there by Sledge. Sledge back on the advantage now with a stomp. Yes, and it looks like uh, Ricky is in some pain here, Joseph. Tank Alvarado tagging in. Tank coming off the second row. A lot of force in behind that. This Tank is a big man, and uh, I think perhaps that second row could be as high as Tank can actually get. Well, look at this right now. Nice drop kicking. Didn't quite get all of it, but <laughs> going for a shoulder block. Uh, a crossbody right there. One, no. Was able to get the big man off his feet. This tank's looking pretty stunned as a result of Ricky's uh, barrage. Oh, oh, a pancake right there. Yeah, elbow drop. And we've got to cover one, two. Did not hook the leg. Not going to get him. Looks like Tank's going to give it one more shot here, Joseph, to take Ricky out. Forearm shot to the side of the head. And another one right there. Knock Ricky Ruffin loopy there. A little kick by uh, Ruffin, but nothing really behind it. Oh, and throws him to the outside. Uh, and you know, with, with Tank's size, I think it's an advantage to Tank sometimes to throw his opponents out of the ring where he can very pummel them without the uh, overlooking eyes of uh, the referee. Absolutely. What this? Oh. oh, super kick right there. Wasn't really a lot behind it, but still enough. Um, if you want to include, look, oh. whips him into the ring post right there. Oh. I was gonna say if you want to include the momentum. Oh, speaking of momentum. Oh boy, it's a David and Goliath situation here, Joseph, with Tank really uh, getting hit hard there. Oh, oh. it's a helo right there. <laughs> wow, wow, Ricky almost going out into the audience on that one. Yeah, I actually almost uh, looked like he almost kicked that little girl right in the face. You know, it, nearly near miss, possibly. Definitely a very close call here. Uh, tank get, taking a while to get up here on that one. Tank number one. Oh, and Ricky Ruffin have both. Oh. They counted out and therefore are both eliminated. Oh. 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 Inside the ring, Brad Boy, uh, Brad Boy, Brad Boy, Brad Tyler, and the Apostle. Definitely. We definitely get some insight here into why they call him the bad boy of uh, Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Off the second rope with that guillotine leg drop, and uh, looks like he might have hurt his own knee in the process, though. I don't know who got the worst of that, actually. Looks like that's Shot block. Into the injured knee. Definitely. Judah really knows uh, what the weakness is, is of his opponents, and he's taking advantage of that right now. Making a time, time announcement to the crowd right there. And just slamming that knee right down to the mat. 
making the bad boy pay for his sins, perhaps? Definitely, definitely. You know, I think Judah might be using some uh, unholy tactics here, but I think he's definitely getting his point across. Excuse Small the package, pun, one, two. Sorry to cut you off right there. <laughs> Judah again, trying to uh, show the bad boy uh, some element of justice here tonight. Oh, sit out power bomb! That could do it. One, two, three. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Cooper in the ring now. Death Valley Driver. Oh, heavy slam. One, two, three. Sledge on Bo. This is just a non stop uh, barrage of uh, people getting attacked here tonight, Joseph. Sledge in the corner. A big Bronco Buster. 300 pounds plus. Shows us what he's made of. And with Sledge being eliminated right now, we got Bo Cooper and, and JD Orr. And it, it's one on one here. The next elimination is going to win the match. He's got him set up for. Looked like he had him set up. And Sledge from the outside. Oh, a blatant low blow. Definitely. And it looks like the ref didn't even notice that, uh, that illegal move there. <sighs> Has called for the disqualification. We need, we need to get somebody for the back. We need to get somebody for the back out here now. Definitely, definitely. This is, this is a dangerous situation. And, uh, no offense to the referee, but I think that they need some. Oh! What's this? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He's got a, piece of, a pizza slicer. Oh, I, I can't even. I can't even. Uh, bear. We, we need to get somebody from the back. Somebody needs to get out here and take and, and take care of the situation right now. This definitely, this is total anarchy anarchy here tonight, Joseph, and um, not a good situation. Oh my goodness! Oh oh! Mario Banks, Mario Banks, in thank goodness we got somebody in to save him. And uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Mario Banks, he was actually trained by Bo Cooper, in case you're wondering. Yeah, definitely, Joseph. Uh, Check out Vendetta Pro Wrestling social media networks at vendettaprowrestling.com.
Look at the build. Look at the development. You want to talk about in shape, you are seeing it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Bella's wrong, this one's underway. One fall with a 20 minute time limit. Billy Blade stepping right to the outside. That didn't take him long. tie up right now and just just easily overpowering the rock of love Billy Blade. In there in there in the corner with his uh, manager. He said he does have a legal manager managerial license. Does wild side big of velocity. And so with every advantage that you might think that Chris Masters has in this match and, and he does he also has two thirds of the Midnight Delight out there. And if you've seen any Vendetta Pro Wrestling events in the past, you, you know how they can come into play. I'm trying to say that, I'm trying to say that Chris Masters pulled the hair. There, there was not a hair pull there. And pretty much, fans, you pretty much know that. You, you know Billy Blade by now. Looks like he's gonna go for another column elbow kick to the midsection right there by Billy Blade into the side headlock. Throws him off into the ropes. Easy shoulder block right there. And a little bit of pick action. Billy Blade's gonna have to stick and move in this one. Anything that has to do with power, he's gonna lose. He cannot match power with the masterpiece, Chris Masters. He's gonna have to stick and move. He's gonna have to use his uh, his trademark offense is kicks. And let's call it what it is. He, he's going to have to cheat. That's the only way it's going to happen. <laughs> Referee making Chris Masters get back right there. And goes low. Nice move right there. Shot into the stomach. And that's exactly what Billy Blade's going to have to do. Of course, his trademark kicks. European uppercut. Again, going to the punches, but reversal. And catches a back elbow. Billy Blade face first into the top turnbuckle. And oh no. Oh, he's got Billy set up. This, this is not gonna be good. Oh, reverse knife edge chop. Looks like he's gonna go for another one. Does so, just lights him up. Of course, Billy Blade, also known for his chops, setting him up, you figure 10 of these are gonna be coming. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, there is number 10. <laughs> Scoop and a body slam. 
Chris Masters making this look easy right now. He's calling for the master lock already. Vega Velocity from behind, getting up on the ring apron. And, oh, step up in security right there by Billy Blade. Again, that's his trademark offense right there. That's what's gonna win him the match, if, if indeed he can win. Knuckle shot right to the top of the forehead right there by Billy Blade. Referee telling him to open up the fist. Kick into the midsection. And on, oh, skinny chop. Lighting him up all night and day, but oh, reverse knife edge by Chris Masters. All, looks like all that did was make him angry. A nice knee right there to the midsection, sending face first to the top turnbuckle. And oh, another one. Oh, my. Again, all he did right, right there. Oh, pretty loud chop right there by the, the masterpiece. And just a rake of the eyes right there by Billy Blade. Oh, from behind. Wild side Vega Velocity choking him on the top rope. Referee Sparky Ballard, he knows he has his hands full with that one cover. One, two. As I was saying, he knows he's going to have his hands full when any of the Midnight Delight are out there. Set him up and, oh, you know what's coming. Billy Blade with the air guitar lock. Don't know if he could force a submission with a hold. He might force a submission with his singing. But Masters getting up to his feet. A couple of elbows right there to break that side headlock. But Billy Blade raising the knee, dropping it right to the forehead, and then another kick to the midsection. Off the ropes. Sets him up, stop, oh, and drop. Beautifully executed right there. Both men are down, but uh, doesn't look like Masters is gonna be down for long. Both men up to their feet. Reverse knife edge chop and another one by Masters. Big clothesline, taking down Billy Blade and another one. Billy Blade starting to wonder if it's a good idea even to get back to his feet, assuming he can. Whips him to the ropes, lifts him up. Oh, a nice sit out power bomb. One, two, no. Only a count of two. I thought that was going to be three. I mean, sounds like many people in the, in the capacity crowd here, they thought it was three. Oh, he's getting great crowds here in Santa Maria. And he's calling right now for the master lock. He locks it in. You got to think this one's going to be over. Masters, he's got it locked in. Vega Velocity getting involved. And he just gets Vega Velocity into the master lock as well. That's not going to win him a match right now. Low blow. Low blow right there, right in front of right in front of the official, and that's Chris Masters. Referee Sparky Ballard awarding the match to Chris Masters after that blatant low blow.